So it's no surprise by now that Rescue Ace is the leading deck of the current format. If you guys look at the previous YCSs, regionals, or pretty much any event, you're going to see Rescue Ace not only just at the top, but also the most represented, right? So going into YCS Indie, we had a blind format, which we had no idea what decks to expect. But now that the format has, you know, settled in with the top cut decks being released and deck lists actually being released, people are more uh, shifting towards one direction now, right? So as we can see now, it's kind of settled to where it's Rescue Ace, Tier Element, and Pearly, right? And obviously you can play all your other rogue decks, but it's at least more more you know stable right unlike before where it was basically just a free-for-all uh bring whatever you want and maybe if you played the right non-engine you could do well and um you know i don't think it's like that anymore right so because when you're preparing for a deck now i'm pretty sure your non-engine is going to be targeting this uh rescue ace deck right because it just makes sense by statistics but in today's video, I actually wanted to talk about a deck that isn't actually new, but it's a deck that I think will fit very well into the current metagame uh, of how like the way the meta is progressing. And I also just have been seeing a lot of top players play this deck um, as well during this week, right? So I do think that for this week in particular, this deck that I'm gonna about to show you guys might actually be really good. And the deck is the Manadium deck, right? So. Manadium obviously is not a stranger into the competitive scene. I think a lot of people, I'm pretty sure most people who play competitive know that this deck exists. You know, it's out there. It's a strong uh, deck, but obviously not a meta uh, contending uh, deck um, to win an event, right? I think if you were to ask someone what deck would win an event, they would say probably Rescue Ace and not Manadium, but it is a, you know, tier two-ish deck. But let me go ahead and explain to you guys why i actually think uh, this deck might be really really good this week and even for the upcoming formats of how the game is progressing right so i just want to show you guys some examples you know from this past weekend we had ycs bolivia which was not a big ycs but it's you know worth mentioning i guess that patrick hoban did top with manadium as well you know some of the top players out here play manadium as we can saw from indie even hani played it as well Right. And then if you guys look over here, I also have a stream by Jesse Cotton, who also has been playing Manadium uh, on stream, as well as um, Gabe YGO, who's also been playing this as well. And he is a world's uh, representative. Right. And all these players right here right now, uh, previously in all the other events, have not been focusing on this Manadium deck uh, so much. But I have seen them, you know, pretty much this week and, and not just them, but a lot of top players as well. Uh, pick up the manadium deck right so let's talk about why it's actually good and why now right so now that as i've been referring to earlier rescue ace has its spot in the format i think we can build in a way to combat the deck or exploit uh the fact that rescue ace is a top deck right so the number one weakness of the manadium deck actually is droll and lockbird right to no one's surprise droll and lockbird is absolutely insane against the deck the deck searches a million times per turn and if you watch any deck profile from manadium they say that like I'm gonna break all your boards unless you have droll and that is like the bottom line of it all right now how does that tie in so if you guys have not played against rescue ace or have no idea how it works rescue ace essentially is a deck that does not actually lose to droll almost at all right the wanted spell and all the, its uh, spells essentially even the emergency are all quick plays so even if you get drawled you can chain all your cards or just play your cards in the draw phase before droll and lockbird can be used so the point is Droll and Longbird just isn't good against the Rescue Ace deck, right? So if we look um, at that stat, we can see that now people are going to build their decks towards Rescue Ace, which means Droll and Longbird might actually be cut from decks entirely. But one thing's for sure is it will be completely cut from the main deck because it's just unusable against Rescue Ace, right? And Manadium is not a popular deck out there. So why would you prepare for Manadium when Rescue Ace is the most represented deck? So I think with that in mind, uh, unlike YCS Indie, which was a free-for-all format, people uh, just threw in random cards, you know? And Droll and Lockbird is a really safe card to play into a format where people just don't know what decks are actually good, right? And now that we know that Rescue Ace is a thing, uh, people are going to be so more geared towards Rescue Ace, which means cards like Effect Veiler might be played, which isn't actually good at all against Manadium, right? So the fact that there's a meta that's being shaped right now, I do think makes the Manadium deck shine a lot right because the tech cards now all of a sudden are rng right you're not running to random draw and lock birds random you know shifters even right and um 
without running into those random cards you're able to play this deck pretty freely right and then number two this deck the manadium deck itself right the only matchups that it really struggles with outside of literally joel and lockbird if you want to call that a matchup is decks that essentially just ftk you right so like either the infernoble deck the dark wolf deck cannon gen decks and all those type of you know turn one glass cannon i'm gonna pretty much exodia you on turn one if you don't do something and that's the only type of decks that manadium struggle against right it doesn't actually struggle against a lot of uh things out there because of how the engine works it's able to play through so much interruption because it has infinite extenders especially with the new cards coming out so the cards that are actually not good against it are soft interruptions like infinite impermanence effect Baylor, maybe even like a pop those cards just aren't good against it well guess what rescue ace's entire board is to get trap cards that pretty much say imperm and pop so those interruptions aren't actually even that good against manadium so with the metagame in mind we now see that rescue aces in inherently as a deck just doesn't have that many counters to manadium in its engine because its engine just actually just isn't that strong against that deck right the whole entire point of rescue ace is to play the long game play the grind game drag out the game so that you can win on you know turn three turn four and that type of thing so you would classify rescue ace as a mid-range playstyle, and manadium eats up that playstyle completely right so now we have a lot of things to tie it all up red manadium also having a really good matchup against rescue ace uh, rescue ace being the most popular deck so manadium is going to have you know more matchups and not run into random matchups and then at the same time draw and lockbird is coming out of the metagame to combat rescue ace which leaves manadium a very very strong uh place in the meta right now right so that's pretty much it for this entire video i wanted to just bring you guys um uh, up to speed with what i've been thinking and what i've been seeing around other players um you know seeing what other players have been cooking up and to me i've been connecting a lot of the dots and it makes a lot of sense why manadium might just be the best deck going forward um if the meta continues this way right that'll be it for this one guys like comment subscribe if you made it this far and i'll see y'all in the next one